All right, what are we doing today? Going diving. It's the first time we are going diving together. For fun. We moved here for fun. Um, and I get to see you drive, Mr. Captain. I'm not driving. Well, I'm gonna ask the Yeah, I ain't driving. driving. <laughs> All right, who are we diving with? Red Hook Dive Center, best I, dive shop on St. Thomas. That's where I work, <laughs> Captain here. Welcome to St. Thomas in the U.S. Virgin Islands. You're joining us today on our first fun dive since moving here in August of 2021. We're aboard Fool's Gold, which is the dive boat for Red Hook Dive Center, the shop that I currently work for as a boat captain. If you're scuba diving in St. Thomas, you have plenty of dive shops to choose from, but I promise you, you won't be disappointed if you join along with me. And just like many of our South Florida diving adventures, we bring along our trusty lionfish pole spear in hopes of finding and removing some of the invasive species from the waters of the Caribbean. Stragglers Reef is one of the most popular dive sites in St. Thomas and is visited by most of the dive operators on the island on a regular basis. It's a great place to see nurse sharks, Caribbean reef sharks, lobster, lionfish, barracuda, and all sorts of different marine life. If you're wanting to go lionfish hunting though, you're going to have to ask the dive operators to go to some secret spots on the island. And that's because the popular dive sites like Stragglers Reef are picked clean on a regular basis. If you're hoping for a lot of lionfish on your hunt, you're going to have to look elsewhere. Don't forget why you're diving to always look up because you never know what creatures you might see. Now for all you lionfish hunters out there, you may have noticed that we made a critical error. We didn't store our lionfish in a zookeeper. Typically we have ours, but we weren't able to get it down from Florida quite yet. So we were carrying around a dead fish, bleeding nonetheless, on a spear exposed. This exposes us to the predations of Caribbean reef shark, and sure as shit, right on cue, one shows up, stalking us in the background. We were lucky enough to make it back to the boat and hand off our bleeding fish to the captain. This just serves as a reminder to be properly prepared with a zookeeper or some floats to send your fish to the surface in the case of a stalking predator like a shark. This is a good time to mention that you might see other dive operators feed lionfish to things like sharks or eels. We don't believe this is a good idea because it only associates the predators with humans as a source of food, setting up future accidents. One of the coolest things you might stumble upon during a dive is a cleaning station. It's where cleaning wrasse, small little fish, like to clean the algae off of larger animals. This one in particular is a great barracuda getting its teeth cleaned by the small fish. Other animals that conduct in this behavior are manta rays, sea turtles, and even sharks.
One of the best parts about diving in St. Thomas is how close you are to land. Every dive site is just a few minutes away from the dock, getting you out early and getting you back early as well, typically before noon so you can go on with your vacation. The second dive site of the day is called Castle Reef. It's on the south side of St. Thomas, and Red Hook Dive Center is the only dive operator on the island that goes to it. The most common thing you might see here is Southern Stingray hiding in the sand between the seagrass beds and the coral reef line. Castle Reef is home to an abundance of marine life, in large part because of its location within the St. Thomas East End Reserve, also known as Steer. Steer is a marine reserve and wildlife sanctuary protecting mangrove estuaries, coral reefs, and seagrass beds. The trifecta of the three create thriving environments that are suitable for all sorts of marine life. And yes, that does include those pesky lionfish, but thank goodness we brought our spear along yet again. Never forget, at the end of the dive, it's always important you bust out your favorite underwater dance move. We'd love to have you along on one of our dive trips with Red Hook Dive Center soon. He's a pretty fantastic instructor. Cleaning up. Cleaning up after a good day of diving. Alright, how was the day? It was so good. It's fun to be out there finally diving together here. St. Thomas. In St. Thomas. And I really like that, like, what was that site with all the canyon? Uh, Stragglers Cove. Stragglers Cove. Yeah, that was my favorite. Got a lot of lionfish. We got something for dinner. So, yeah, such a good day.